What's up, y'all? It's about 8 in the morning. We are finally on the last leg of this journey over to Boston. Cannot wait to get back to my hometown because it's a lot better than anywhere else, honestly. But <laughs> it's a sunny, nice day. We got about another 11 and a half hours ahead of us. But this place is continental breakfast, so we're about to go snag some breakfast and then hit the fucking road asapy dough. But I can't wait, baby. Last little leg of this journey, Ken's just gonna truck through it like a fucking savage. <laughs> but that's my only option, so per let's get it usual. done. <laughs> per usual, we're gonna truck through it. So let's fucking get it going. Alright, shall we? Hmm? 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 <laughs> well, you don't talk that mess. You don't talk that mess. <laughs> if you can't tell what type of part of the world we're in, they sound like, well, I'll tell you what. Darlene made the best damn breakfast at the at the Embassy Suites. She had that hey Enrique next to her making omelets, didn't speak a lick of English. But I'll tell you what, that boy can cook. Oh, that boy can cook. Those omelets are excellent. Oh, that boy can cook. But you don't talk that mess. But we're on the road again. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Oh my god, dude. They're looking around going, man, you gotta call for Kizar. What was that dude we saw? So that dude in Arizona, he was like, man, you're crazy in a motherfucker. And then right after, we're not even playing music, the car's off, he goes, man, turn it up. Turn it up, bro. And I was like, shit, all right, man, I'm gonna turn it up. Turn it up, bro, I'll turn it up all the way. Yeah, and then he asked me if I had a business card. I was like, yeah, what are you gonna do, email me, bro? Like, I look at the fucking stickers, add me on social media. Like, 2020, like a normal fuck. But, <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's gonna be in tears or something like that. Well, let me tell you what. <laughs> These are all real things that happen to us. I know. <laughs> like, we're not even joking around. Like, Darlene had the best damn breakfast service I had ever seen in 12 counties. She did a great job. I she did a great job. It was the only place we had that had a continental fucking breakfast. We had the best breakfast of our lives. It was fucking for free. Tremendous. Henrique cooked up an omelet so fucking and I, that's honestly so racist because I don't know his name at all But her voice sound like well, I'll tell you what I got pancakes. You want biscuits? Gravy? It's okay. You don't talk that mess. I'll clean it up Not a single part, uh, person from, from this part of the country is gonna follow you now <laughs> <laughs> They might not or they'll be like well, we do talk like that. Holy shit <laughs> Darlene, let me know if you seen Big Cam at the, the good old Continental that morning. Like and subscribe, you're actually great. I gave her a couple dollar tip for her service. I, I saw that, I was there, I see you. I was like, man, Darlene's killing it. She had my plate already, bacon, sausage, that biscuits whole, and gravy. That whole thing was a two man operation. Two men, but it was all Darlene. Darlene was running the show, cleaning the tables, serving you food. Telling Enrique what plate is plate. They need a raise <laughs> over there. We gotta, we gotta put a good uh, word in for Yeah, them. they got Enrique making omelets for three cents an hour. Put working for his tips. You might have a very competitive wage at the Embassy Suites, sorry. You don't know that. All I know is Embassy Suites, thank you so much. That place was fucking fire. Honestly, I'd stay there again in a heartbeat. Oh. Gonna... <laughs> this ranks very highly on my list. Let me tell you, the Sheraton, though. Not a chance. I'm 6'2". The shower was, the, the ceiling in the shower was about 6'5". <laughs> and the in the shower, I felt like, you ever seen that sh that scene in Elf? Where he's sitting there in the little Elf shower and he's splashing water on his face? That was me. I had the water all the way up, angled as high as it could go, and it's still shooting me right in the chest. I was like, that's fucking retarded. I was like, I've never been so fucking, well, let me tell you what, tell you what, Oklahoma City, get your shit together. That was the wackest. The only thing they had going on was the Oklahoma City Thunder. And guess what? They fucking suck. And they're not even good, dude. That place had zero security. Zero security. Zero security. We walked in at 12.15 and walked in through the fucking parking garage. And we like just went right in the parking garage to the elevator. Didn't have to swipe a key or nothing. We got all the way up to our floor. The only thing the homeless people didn't have that could have walked in off the street was the fucking key card for the room. I guarantee they could probably get in that bitch without it. Fucking homeless people are sleeping at the Sheraton in Oklahoma. They gave us a card we didn't even need to use. Yeah, I didn't even fucking need it. Well, I'll tell you what. 
All right, y'all, we're on the road. I'll see you guys at the next stop. We are 11 hours out from good old Boston. So we'll be back eventually. I can't wait to get home. So this is gonna be a hell of a journey. I'm probably gonna be singing like a schoolgirl because well, I can't tell you how excited I am to be headed home. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> right that's how you know there's nothing really good going on because we've been driving 14 hours consecutive days and we get like 10 hours in and we will start getting delusional and this poor kid starts to go to sleep and i just look over at him and go whip 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 i'll tell you what Tell you what, you don't top that mess. <laughs> we gotta go back to civilization. We're trying to get the bunch of weirdos. Yeah, bro. <laughs> we've been in the middle of the desert. We got stranded in Arizona for two days. And then we've been fucking... I, I don't even care if this thing breaks down on this journey. I'm fucking crutching at home. I'll break down in my driveway. <laughs> but, I'd, I'd rather it not, though. I'd rather a nice smooth sail. <laughs> I'd rather not, knock on wood. But we'll be all right. Either way, I got resin, so... Rock and roll, that's all we need. Rock and roll. Well, that's all you need. That's all you need. But we'll see you soon. <laughs> I've been ranting for five minutes and 30 seconds. But well, let me tell you what about darling. <laughs> like, all right, <laughs> that's enough. I'll see you guys soon. The life ones? I just gotta go to the bathroom. Um, what's up, y'all? We just got to the first gas station stop and uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the bathroom, fuel up, and hit the road. But we are uh, making some great time. I already cut like 40 minutes on this one. And as you can see, I am fucking tired. So we're trying to get back. And we'll probably be in mass probably around 7 ish. So that'd be dope. We, we're not gonna hit a time difference again and fuck ourselves over. So it's gonna be dope. But let's refuel, throw out some trash, and fucking hit the road again, fellas. You know how it is. Big Cam's been chugging it across the country we're back in new york so fuck new york let's not get pulled over again but it's not as bad in nebraska so you guys know what to do <laughs> but i'll be back in a second oh what's up y'all safe and sound we have made it all the way home dropped off res back in the parking spot she's looking unreal it was a long journey ladies and gentlemen let me tell you and uh i can't be more thankful to be, be alive and well and cars running and we don't have too many problems. We have to pay maybe a couple tickets, but that's minor, you know? It's another day in paradise, can't complain at all. Got food coming, got a hot shower waiting for me, calling my name. Got merch from Mr. Organic. Once again, thank you to Mr. Organic. If you guys wanna go check out his shit, I'd go to organiclifestyle.com, but there's a dope ass shirt. Another one, another one, and then this dope ass bag. One of them ones, boy. But if you guys know me, you know I'm one of them ones. And if you guys rock with me and you rock with Mr. Organic, you should, if you do rock with me, you should rock with him, I should say. But I'm tired, I'm out of breath. I'm exhausted, actually. This trip has taken a lot out of me. A lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of fucking driving hours. I've driven more hours in, in the last two weeks than most people have their entire lives. <laughs> like, dead ass. Hours and hours and hours straight. Your boy's a savage, but we made it all the way home. So this will complete the road trip saga from east coast to west coast and back. If you haven't watched all of the damn videos, they're all in the road trip playlist. Go check them out. I put a lot of effort into them, done a lot of shit in this trip, so... And, it, and there's only going to be more. We're just starting. I'm just 21. What are we going to do at 22? Who knows? But we're, gonna, we're only going to get bigger and better from here. And I appreciate all the, those that have followed. And if you're new and you found me from wherever I was traveling and you saw me, please comment below where you're from. And if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. Hit that thumbs up and fucking holler at your boy. All right? I'll see you guys soon, though. I'll see you in the next video, all right? I got an, I've been trying to do every other day. All these videos have been coming out every other day, so I'm going to try and keep doing that, but I'll see you guys soon, all right? Peace, peace. Catch your boys soon. Happy holidays.